what's up everybody? It's J E H J E H J E H 1983 coming at you with a quick video on how to help you level up your destruction easier. The first thing I'm going to show you is you're going to want to make sure you go to the Guardian Stones. That's the first stones that you run in the game by uh, Riverwood. And you want to make sure you have the Mage Stone because that's going to help your magic level up 20% faster. Um, on the map, right here is White Run. That's where I'm at right now. Riverwood is just south of it right here. Continue south. There's the Guardian Stones. Okay, now when you're in Whiterun, you're going to want to find this place called Yorvasker. It's this great big building here with the shields on it. This is the home of the Companions. You're going to go inside of here. And when you first arrive in Whiterun, the uh, guards are actually going to be involved in a fight with a giant. And if you go up to the where that fight's taking place, they'll invite you to speak to Codlack Whitmain, and he is the head of the Companions. So, there's going to be a fight scene that starts. I'm not getting into that right now. Um, it's just a cinema scene type of deal that they play out when you first come in. <clears throat> you go ahead and go downstairs into the living quarters. This is where you're going to find Codlack Whitmain. And he is going to be talking to one of the main uh, members of the Companions, a guy by the name of Vilkas. Gotta love load screens. If by love you mean hate. Okay, so you're going to hang a right, go all the way down to the end of the hall. That's where you're going to find Codlick Whitmain. It's this big guy right here. Tell him you want to join the Companions. Would you now? Now he's going to talk with uh, Vilkas for a minute and argue about whether or not I should join. I just want to point out to you, if you are the type of player that likes two-hand weapons, go up to this book and read it. Boom. Two-hand skill increased. I personally, this playthrough, I'm doing magic, so not a big deal for me. There's also a Deidre heart right here, or somewhere in the general area, if you uh, want that for later on for making... Daedric armor. I'll get into that in a different video. Sometimes the famous come to us. I'm just gonna be quiet here and let them talk for a minute. What matters is their heart and their arm. Of course. How are you? Now he asks you how you are in battle. You dare question my skill? Calm down, man. Don't feel like you need to show off for our. All right, buddy. Bilkes, I'll I'll relax. The one testing your metal. Bilkes, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. I. Now I know what you're all thinking. Why would you join the companions to level up your destruction? But we're getting to that now. So we're gonna go outside with Vilkus, and I don't feel like waiting for him. So just go back to the end of the hall where you came from. <clears throat> Hang a left. That brings you to upstairs again. Let's see what thrilling load screen we have this time. Wow, lots of smoke. Nothing else. Pretty fancy. Bethesda went all out on this load screen. No, uh, spared no expense on this one. Alright, get to the top of the stairs. Ain't a left. What's up, buddy? Just chilling? I'd be dead not Good for you. We're gonna go outside here with Vilkus. An excessively high bounty will cause a hold guards to attack the one person on sight. Really? Who would have thought? You break the law and the guards want you. Wow. Learn something new every day. Just trying to fill the uh, load screens here. I know they're annoying and slow. <laughs> Gotta fill it somehow. It's okay. We get outside here. Now Vilkus is going to ask me to show him my fighting skills, and it seems to me the game has glitched. Vilkus is not, in fact, coming outside like he's supposed to. This happens. Just wait an hour. I apologize. Bethesda games have glitches once in a while. I've got a bad grip on my shield. Take a look at it. There we go. I selected the fast 
fast weight or whatever you call it. Weight is an hour, and here he is. Now he's going to ask you to show him your fighting skills. Don't use a sword. Remember, we're trying to level up destruction magic. So pull out a spell. Just start zapping him. You can't kill him during this. So just keep sh shocking him, and he'll stay in this uh, weird state of kind of drawing his sword, telling you to only use a sword, and that the companions don't use magic, but we're trying to level our, our, our destruction, so we're going to go ahead and keep using spells. Now, I'm already at a pretty high destruction skill, so it's going to take quite a while to start leveling my magic up. But uh, this is easiest to do if you have a high elf. You can turn on his greater power called Highborn and really build your magic fast. Um, I'm just going to take a couple potions just to get you an idea that you can level up your magic pretty quick doing this. What do you think this is? What do you Again, my uh, magic level is already quite high, so it takes me longer to level my skills. Let's see what our progress is. Now you can see it's only about halfway, because I'm already up to level 50 on my destruction, so it's pretty much halfway leveled. But if you're uh, looking to get a quick boost, this is the easiest way to do it. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this video. If you have any ideas for future videos, feel free to leave those in my comments. Um, I'm thinking my next video might have to do with uh, leveling up my restoration because there is a, a pretty big trick that you can do if you uh, want to play as a mage and you decide to take uh, the ability of being a vampire. Um, I'm not going to get into it completely. But there's a perk on the tree specifically designed for vampires. Makes all your spells 25% more powerful. I'll explain here. that in another video. Thanks for checking me out. Like and subscribe!